Hello, I am Fred Dodson and I now introduce to you a technique which I often use in my coaching work with people to help them release self-imposed mental limitations especially surrounding the subject of taking action. I will guide you through the exercise so that you can join me in using it right now while I do it on camera. So get a piece of paper and a pen and the first step is to make a list of your limitations. And the way to do this is to phrase one, two, three, four, five statements or more, all beginning with the two words, I can't. <clears throat> so, I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't this and I can't that. You make a list of limitations. So you can uh, switch off this video while you make that list. I'll be right here waiting for you. So the very first step is to own those I can't thoughts, to focus on those I can't thoughts. The idea is that what you uh, deliberately create, what you deliberately hold in your mind, you gain a little bit of control over. So you take your first statement and I'll give an example statement of a student I recently had. Um, he always wanted to be a filmmaker but wasn't doing it because he didn't believe he could. So his statement was, I can't be a filmmaker. I can't be a filmmaker. So whatever your first statement is, you close your eyes and focus on that. You fully own that. I can't dot dot dot. Give yourself some time to get into it. I can't be a filmmaker. You see, as you think a thought deliberately and on purpose, it tends not to come up on automatic or subconsciously. You bring it into consciousness. I can't dot dot dot. Okay, the second step is to own it more deeply, to get into it more deeply, to more deeply take responsibility for it. And you do this by rephrasing the idea with I don't want. So instead of I can't, you say I don't want as if it were your responsibility, as if you were the one creating that. That's a deeper level of owning it. So you pre pretend that it's not that you can't do it, it's that you don't want to do it. Okay, so in my example that would be I don't want to be a movie maker. Let's try this. <clears throat> and give yourself some time to get into it. it. May take some time to get into that feeling of not wanting it. And even if this seems silly to you, on some level it's true. Some aspect of you does not want it. Otherwise, you'd already be doing it. If you really, really wanted it, you'd be doing it. So focus on the idea of I don't want dot dot dot, whatever your item is. And 
And this gives you a sense of more empowerment. With I can't, you're the victim, but with I don't want, you are source, you are responsible. All right. Now, underlying this I don't want is an emotional pain or frustration. And you may have already felt that just now. But just in case you haven't, this next step will get you more deeply into the frustration, pain, or emotion underlying this issue. And the way to do that to get more in touch with that and let the emotion come up and out is with a because. I don't want because dot dot dot. So you ask yourself, why don't I want that? What could be the reason? And there is some reason, some payoff that your subconscious does not want this. So as we do this, answer the question with because and see what emotions come up, allowing those emotions to just come up and pass through. Don't push away, don't resist. Okay, let's try this. I don't want to be a filmmaker because... Dot, dot, dot. And there might be many reasons. Come up with reasons you don't want that. Reasons someone might not want that. Reasons you don't want that. Just play along and pretend you don't want it and find out why. And below that, you feel some kind of frustration or emotion, perhaps some shame or guilt or fear resignation or anger or some kind of stress and the way to release those emotions is by allowing them to come up and out rather than suppressing them with thought basically by just feeling the emotion just sitting and breathing with the emotion, that's it. If you can release one emotion, you release a thousand thoughts with that. There might be a pain in your chest or stomach or forehead or solar plexus. That's where most of the emotions are stored beneath all the thought rubbish You just let the emotion come up. I don't want dot 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 because dot dot dot. And just allow the emotions to come up and pass through. You let them run out. In time, they eventually run out. may take a little longer for you, but they do run out if you simply feel what is there instead of pushing it down or ignoring it. Just feel what's there. You are a source. You are bigger than those emotions. You're their observer. You permeate those emotions and expand far and wide outside of those emotions. Your source, there's nothing to be afraid of. Some of you might get tears. That's okay, that's release. And 
then once you've let the emotions run out, you go to the next step. It might take longer for you, but we're just going to go to the next step now. So in our example, it was, I don't want to be a movie maker because it's so much stress, because my movies are actually boring, because I just want recognition that I've never received and I'm, uh, I'm a pretender. And those were the emotions that came up, or at least the ones that I uh, pretended for this exercise. So, the final step is, uh, once the emotions are somewhat cleared, is um, to rephrase your statement to the empowered statement, which is, I can. I can, dot, dot, dot. I can be a movie maker. I can be a good filmmaker. So let's go to this step, close your eyes and hold the thought, I can, dot, 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 whatever your topic is. This is the empowered opposite of the I can't, which is now much easier to focus on because you've released the old. It's a very simple technique. You just have to take the time and awareness to do it slowly, step by step. So focus on, I can, dot, dot, dot. In my case, I can be a good filmmaker. And if you want to add some spice to it, you add because, because the word because supports it emotionally. So I can dot 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 because dot dot dot. The more reasons you come up with why you can do it, the better. <clears throat> And of course, we focus on this thought longer than the other ones. Because it's the thought we'd like to habituate. We'd like to emotionalize. I can. If I really, really, really want to, I can, dot, 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 because, dot, dot, dot. Really give yourself the time to get into it, to feel it, to see it, to name reasons for it. Why do you think you can do that? All right, we could go on longer, but that's enough to demonstrate the technique. And you're meant to feel better afterwards than before. So you start out with a feeling of limitation and you end it with either relief or a sense of real empowerment, real strength. And in this manner, you go through your entire list of I can'ts. All of your I can't items. So you take one I can't item and you focus on the I can't. And then you go one step deeper and rephrase it to I don't want. Focus on that. Then the third step is I don't want because. And as you focus there, you bring up all the feelings, let them run out, let them run through. 
until you're okay. And the fourth step is to rephrase it to I can and focus for a while on the I can until you feel a sense of empowerment or relief. If this little video was helpful to you, please recommend it far and wide, share it far and wide, link it far and wide. Thank you very much.